Would I be a candidate to have bags removed from under both eyes at my age, 66? Also, will they return once removed? Can anything be done for upper eyelid droop? Thank you for your question. Are you a candidate for removal of bags at the age of 66? Uh, well, based on the uh, photos you, you submitted, the answer is uh, yes, you are a very good candidate for the reduction of bags under the eyes um, at the age of 66. And this, the key for you is having a sound strategy um, by, by learning about your options. And so hopefully from what I, from what I tell you from uh, the, my reflection on the photos that you submitted, they'll, it'll help guide you in making a decision. Well, at this stage of your life, you have, it's clear that you have light skin, you have some fine lines and some wrinkles, and that there's a lot of puffiness under the eyes. Well, when you do consultations about lower eyelid blepharoplasty, you're going to be um, given a few different choices as far as the ideal. And every surgeon comes to the table with their preferences. As, an, as a cosmetic oculofacial plastic surgeon in practice for 20 years, I want to stress to you a couple of key elements to making the right choice when you uh, finally decide to have the lower eyelids treated. First of all, at this stage of your life, it would not be surprising to me if you have any issues with dry eyes. Now, even if your eyes are watery all the time, it is very common for people to have dry eyes and have reflexive tearing. So, what, what's important to really understand is that lower eyelid position is critically important, particularly as we get older, um, in order to get proper lubrication of the eyes. When people have dry eye, foreign body sensation, and other problems, then the aesthetics becomes secondary. In my practice, approximately 20% of my practice is revision eyelid surgery, and people come to us from all over the world with one particularly common problem, and that problem is lower eyelid retraction. Now, this is not to scare you, but at least gives you some guidelines as to understand what the anatomy is and how making the choice that you're going to make can affect the anatomy. So what does this all mean? Well, the lower eyelid sits against the eye like a hammock, and it has some key structures that need to be supported. When any type of eyelid surgery is performed, it can affect the underlying structure and support of the eyelid. And when that happens, the surgeon who is proactive and skilled and anticipates these issues can very often, nine out of 10 times, do procedures to prevent these problems from happening. There is still a certain percentage of people who have healing issues and can still have problems, but the key is to actually anticipate. So when you look at the choice of having this procedure, the options are gonna be a transcutaneous approach, which means from the outside underneath the eyelashes, and a transconjunctival approach, which means going from the inside. I can't make a one recommendation over another without doing an examination. When I evaluate a patient, I look at their eyelid tone, I look at the, the strength of the lateral canthal tendon, we look at the skin elasticity, and those things we can't do from reviewing a photo. But just to be aware, when you go for your consultation, ask about issues related to the eyes pulling down or retracting, and see how the, uh, the cosmetic surgeon um, answers, uh, answers your questions. 
somebody who really understands the eye and the function should be able to help you really understand what the options are. I can tell you that in my practice when someone comes to me at the, in the 60s, very often there's lo looseness or laxity of the canthal tendon. So I have to do some kind of canthoplasty, canthopexy type procedure in order to support the eyelid. I look to see whether or not the skin has elasticity. Very often skin can be wrinkled and at the same time very stiff. And when the skin is very stiff, it's prone to pull downward. So a lot of plastic surgeons will, in the attempt to reduce wrinkles and improve skin smoothness, will remove skin and cause the eyelids to pull down. So unfortunately, there, there, are, a few, there are a few minds out there in the minefield of doing lower eyelid surgery. So when you, um, I would re such a, suggest you do a few consultations, meet with people who have extensive experience in cosmetic eyelid surgery and are able to handle various levels of complexity and complications should they occur. So again, to summarize, you are a good candidate to reduce the puffiness under your eyes. I'm just uh, cautioning you to consider the impact of the procedure on the eye health and choose uh, the best surgeon for you. I hope that was helpful for you and thank you for your question.